Hi there, friends. Welcome to this week's Crypto Astrology. My name is Aura. I am everybody's favorite space cadet and crypto astrologer. And I'm here to remind you that timing is everything. And this week we are going to look at Bitcoin. We're going to look at the solar eclipse that is happening on like December 22nd, 26th, I mean, uh, like just around Christmas, kind of midnight Christmas, early 2020. Sixth, depending on where you are in the world. So it is a Christmas surprise of some sort <laughs> with <laughs> this eclipse. So eclipses are very, very significant and they make, uh, they're pretty much the major transitional things that happen every year hinge upon the eclipses when they, uh, when they happen. And when the, every year we get two pairs of eclipses. A pair consists of a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse. The lunar eclipse tends to reveal secrets and hidden information. The solar eclipse tends to take things away and hide them from view or remove them completely. So, um, and this can be in any area. So this particular eclipse is pretty intense, but what's even more interesting, and let me just, uh, actually, let's go over here. Um, uh, first, first of all, before I get into the eclipses, let's talk about Bitcoin. I know y'all want to talk about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin made a little tiny move up yesterday. Um, no big deal. Nothing that I would mention, actually, in my uh, Patreon or anything. We, you know, two weeks ago, I called for a big move in Bitcoin. And if you were a patron, you knew I was looking for us to drop. I was looking for us to drop to the 6,800 level one day after that week. So like, you know, seven days later, we dropped to the $6,800 level that I was looking for. So, okay, it was a day late, but we did get my level. So that is some information that I have in my Patreon, including all the levels I see us going to in the next months. So next months, more than one month. So, um, and by the way, the January crypto timing report is out. So if you are a subscriber, you will get that notification as soon as your uh, payment is processed and then you'll have access to the files. They're up, they're loaded, and you can, if you don't have it and you need to purchase it, the link is in the description box below. So, okay. So could we get a rally here at the end of the year? Yes, we could. So, but are we going to new all time highs? Are we going to like hit the ceiling and everyone's going to be rich? Are we going to like have that amazing, you know, moment? No, that is not happening yet. No, absolutely not. So don't buy into that. Don't expect it. Um, we have lows coming. So that, and that's what my timing report is good for because it tells us when. So, the um the rally that is possible i will be doing a uh, seminar for my report owners on that and on the strategy for it i did one in december we didn't get that move yet so we're still waiting for it potentially to happen um so that's also comes with your crypto timing report and then just the basic levels and all the information my market updates all my channeled information on the different coins in crypto is all inside my patreon and there's a giveaway there's a tezos there's there's four chances to win the giveaway inside my patron patreon if you are a patron you have four chances to win you can win uh fifty dollars worth of tezos 75 dollars worth of tezos um, a hundred dollars worth of Tezos or the grand prize from, um, from Caleb and Brown is $500 in the crypto of your choice. So, you know, uh, that's going to go to patrons. So, um, the Caleb and Brown drawing will be on the 25th on Christmas. And then I will do my drawing on, uh, January 1st and it will be a new year's prize. So, and I'm going to put a hat, you know, take a hat and do it out here. So you can all see me do it. Cause I'm not going to pick people. I'm just going to put all the names in the hat. So, and then you go to my Patreon, the main page will give you all the rules and everything else. So, okay. That's enough of that business. Let's take a look at, um, at Bitcoin. Okay. So here's the Bitcoin chart. So yeah, I mean, we got a, like a, like a four and a half percent move and you know, that's not a big deal, but we are going to go far, far higher, um, and far, far lower, but the higher, you know, far, far higher will be, um, a rally of some sort. And that I do see coming. Um, but it's not going to take us to new all time highs. So, 
for all you guys here who, um, you know, just a basic little charting um, exercise here. And this, I mean, I'm not going to do TA or anything, but I want you guys to recognize, okay, see, we're looking at Bitcoin and this chart has been down here, you know, down at like nothing. And <laughs> it started out at, you know, pennies, it was fractions of a penny. The value of Bitcoin was assigned a value um, that was a fraction of a penny based on the amount of electricity that it used. And then it has made several runs. It went up to a high of like $30, came back down again, went up to a high of like 100, came back down again, went up to a high of somewhere around 1000, came back down again. Whoops. So here we are. And we went to $20,000 back in, um, you know, 2017. And that was amazing. But of course, we came back down again. Now we've gone up here and we've come back down some. So the thing to recognize about where we're at with this chart right now is that if you have bought Bitcoin under $10,000, you're profitable for the next if you're going to hold it for a while, right? So this is like sort of like the mean of this particular phase of the Bitcoin chart is that anything over $10,000 is very profitable. So if you've sold up here, you're in good shape and then you can buy back again because we do seem to be coming down below $10,000 pretty frequently. So this is what swing trading is. You do not kill yourself on every day to day move of the charts. I mean, you can do that if, but it, please, please, be an expert and understand how technical analysis works before you do that. Because otherwise you will lose your shirt and other articles of clothing. So be careful. I don't want that to happen to you. Nobody wants to walk down the street naked. So that's what happens when you don't know what you're doing with trading. But if you do, you can do well. And the timing in my timing report, people who have a really good understanding of technical analysis are doing really well with the timing in the report because what I can see and what I've seen months before anybody else, months before the rest of the market has come around is the trend. Are we going up or are we going down? And which is huge. And I was calling for lower levels back in, you know, September in my Patreon. That's when I launched it. But I actually was calling in August that we would get lower levels. But the... Um, the the trend and then the moments of the peaks and the moments of the lows um and the the levels if you understand the levels and how they relate to each other you can swing trade successfully and do extremely well in this market without and this is really key without having to be there a slave to your computer 24 7 every day I have a life, I have a kid, I want to go out into the world. I hope you do too. <laughs> so this is my goal with what I'm doing. So anyway, with Bitcoin, the mean is $10,000 right now. Lower than $10,000 to accumulate is pretty good. I, you know, there are lower levels. I just called for 6,800. That was a really good one because immediately we bounced up, right? And immediately you're profitable and that's great. So that's what we're looking for. And then of course, I also called for this uh, $13,000 level. So any sale you made between $13,001 and 13,099, it would have gone through, you would have made profit, you'd be sitting pretty right now. So, okay, so that's sort of just a basic look at Bitcoin, but is it going to um, rocket to the moon in the next few days, the next few weeks? No, it's not, but we could get a nice, um, counter trend rally. So, um, but, um, I have specific dates. I'm expecting that. Um, okay. So, and then also let's, uh, let's take a look at, I was talking about the eclipses. Let's go, uh, let's go back to them. Oh, this is what I want. Um, so this eclipse that we're having right here, normally we have two pairs of eclipses. As I was saying this year, we actually had five eclipses and next year what's amazing in 2020 is that we will have six six eclipses not only will we have not only will we have six eclipses but those eclipses are um two lunar four lunar eclipses right and two solar eclipses so this is a year of massive massive breaking news secrets things coming out of the closets all the skeletons being revealed i mean maybe not all but a lot of skeletons are coming out of closets so it's going to be a crazy crazy year not only that but at the end of the year here december 14th 
um, of 2020, we have a total eclipse, another total eclipse. It is, ha oh, I'll get into that later. That's going to be crazy. We have a couple of really dramatic eclipses this year. Eclipses, as I said, are huge, 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 pivotal times of the events of the year. So that is that. And then this eclipse, which is on the 26th. Okay, so this one is quite nice. It's quite pleasant, but we do have another one coming up. So I was just uh, looking over here. Let's go back to the one from this year. Um, we had, we have um, this one right here, which is, um, which we just had. I'm sorry. So this one is the one we're having, okay, in uh, on the 26th. And this is the solar eclipse at four degrees of Capricorn. The um, the first one we have in January is going to be um, on January 10th. That one is nasty. It's very, very ugly. So eclipses all have different characters. And the one that we are having now, and this is it right here, is actually quite nice because the eclipse, the sun and the moon, this is a, um, a solar eclipse, which means that the moon crosses in front of the sun and we don't see the sun as much. So or we don't see it at all, depending on whether it's partial or total. So this one is conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter is fantastic. Jupiter is the great benefic in astrology, confers blessings, preferment, honors, fame, all those sort of good things. So um, that's really nice. Uh, however, it is a solar eclipse, so it's taking something away. So what it can do is it can remove obstacles and it can remove um, philosophical problems and issues that have been standing in the way of moving forward. And where it affects you personally really depends on where it is in your chart, what house Capricorn falls in. So in this universal chart that I did, this is taking place in the third house of communication. So it can be, uh, so on a universal level, this can have something to do with removing obstacles to communication, removing obstacles to information, knowledge, which is Jupiter. Um, and if, and things that are coming from afar, from abroad. Um, also things related to higher education, learning, philosophical inclinations. So there's, um, and it's pretty close here to the roots of the chart, which is this nadir at uh, 12 Capricorn, which uh, it just really says that we have an opportunity here to, um, to renew ourselves in a really powerful way and to communicate that renewal and that renewed energy in an amazing way. Um, it is making a beautiful trine here to Uranus. Uranus rules cryptocurrency. It also rules the stock market. So currently the stock market looks golden. It looks fantastic. It looks like it's going to head to the sky and it, 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 it is going to keep going up. And I will say that as un counterintuitive as it seems, or as illogical as it seems that we could have bonds collapse and the stock market continue to race upwards. That is sort of what I'm seeing happen. Um, and the, um, you know, the stock market is because it's completely related to the repo money that they're pumping into the system. Before we have a stock market meltdown, we're going to have something along the lines of hyperinflation where the dollar is not worth anything. So, um, and if you don't understand how that works, you might want to go, check out a really good series that was done um, uh, by, um, uh, by at the Hidden Secrets of Money. Um, Mike Maloney did this series and it was really good. Um, he talks about the um, the way that it's a really well done series and it talks about what happened in the Weimar Republic in Germany when they entered hyperinflation and their economy collapsed. And it gives us a little historical perspective on where we are right now. So it's a good one to take a look at. But so getting back to what's actually going on in this chart, like I said, all that Jupiter stuff is beautiful. It is helpful. It is bringing opportunities. The thing about Jupiter is like, you know, one person's blessing could be another person's. could just be like you're taking it from someone else. So, you know, there's a little excess and there's a, there's a tendency to overinflate things with Jupiter. It can pump things out of proportion as we are seeing right now with the money printing. 
So, and, you know, everything Uranus related, especially the stock market going up and up and up. That's what they want to see go up. They do not want to see crypto going up to stratospheric heights at this point in time. So it is being repressed. Um, I talked about that in a previous video. Um, so the, um, but that's not going to last forever and it will break out and it will go to where it is meant to go, but that's not happening yet. Um, we do have a nice uh, little alignment here of Neptune and Venus. I'm, I'm sorry, Neptune and Mars. And um, also, m you know, Mars is going to make a semi sextile to Saturn and then Pluto in the next few days, which gives us a lot of impetus, uh, motivation, energy, drive to go take action on what we want, on what our long term dreams and our long term goals are. So it's a good idea to be really clear about what those are. What is it you want? How you can go after it? Because now is a time where you can go in, swoop in, make those moves, set things up for yourself for your long term plans. And that's really nice. And again, there's the Jupiter and the opportunities and all this really great stuff that's going on right now. So it's a very good week for some expansion and uh, opening of horizons and removing obstacles. So on that note of removing obstacles, if you have, you know, the best thing you can possibly do is go through your stuff and get rid of everything that doesn't isn't useful, doesn't serve you, right? Like it's a good time to clean house because it is a solar eclipse and it is a removal of garbage. So you just like unclog the pipes and then everything starts to flow. So this is, a, and, and that meditation on my, um, my Patreon is still out there. It's still free. Go ahead and use that. That's exactly what it's designed to do is to help remove those kind of obstacles and issues. So um, it's nice and um, Venus right now. The one thing about Venus is uh, that um, early in the week, like before we get to the 25th, like probably like today, tomorrow, we're having some square to uh, Uranus, which is unpredictability and chaos in the probably more likely crypto than, um, but you know, this isn't on Bitcoin. They're not talking about Bitcoin. We're just talking about the world. So just be aware of um, potential like power outages, you know, um, anything Uranus related, like public utilities and public transportation, all those kinds of things can be a little wonky for these couple of days, but then it will ease up and it will should be fine. So, uh, but it is generally, this is a very, very nice um, eclipse. And um, even with all the uh, stuff that's going on with the impeachment proceedings and all the politics. And I'll get into that a little bit more. I actually talk about it in my uh, my report for January in the crypto timing report, because the timing report has one set of dates for Bitcoin and what I see happening with Bitcoin and another set of dates, which are some worldly forecasts and what I see happening in the world at large. January as will the rest of this year be, but January will be really eventful because we're going to kick off January with um, Uranus changing directions, um, the eclipse happening with Saturn Pluto conjunction happens and becomes exact. It's going to, this is nice. This week is really nice, but January is going to be fierce. And I don't mean that in a good way. So be prepared for it because it can be really pretty crazy. Um, all right, let's see. Um, what else? What else do I want to talk to you guys about? Um, like I said, the crypto timing report is ready and available. Um, January is going to be intense. Uh, we will talk more about the um, the you know the things that are coming. Um, I plan on putting out a uh, part two of that uh, um, economist cover, you know, psychic look that I did. We're going to do another one because there were quite a few words that I hadn't seen in there or that we hadn't seen. It wasn't just me looking, but there was like, um, there were a couple things. What was biodiversity? I saw diversity, but there was biodiversity. There's uh, AI, which I kind of talked about, but I'll talk about it more. There was, um, now I can't remember, but there was a bunch of them. And um, so it definitely deserves another, uh, another look and also a 2020 overview of what I see coming astrologically and some of the big time windows when these things are going to be happening. Because 2020, like I said, six, six eclipses. It's crazy. Chances of one of those eclipses hitting your chart in a direct way are pretty high. So it's really, you know, 
come have a reading because it's good to know when those eclipses are happening because they, in fact, I'm, uh, doing reports on them actually. So, but come and you want to know where that that's hitting your life because it can be major transition and major life change when an eclipse is hitting your chart and they can be difficult. They can be, they can be positive as well, but they are changing things in a big, big dramatic way. So that is, I think, all I have for you guys uh, this week. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you around the cryptosphere next week. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'll be coming back with my report next week. I'm going to try and do the, the um, part two of the Economist cover uh, this week so that when I go away for vacation, I don't have to worry too much about that. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll shoot something out there. I don't know. We'll see if I, if uh, how my equipment works out there in the sticks. But um, all right. Um, yes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, of course. And um, join the Patreon for the great big giveaways this week. I hope you win. And uh, we'll talk to you later.